There have been scores of synthesizers and samplers since the advent of electronic music making in the 50s and 60s. The earliest analog synths from pioneers like Moog, Oberheim, and Buchla gave way to the digital era with the Yamaha DX7's FM synthesis, among many others. Digital samplers brought real acoustic sounds to the mix, from the initial 8-bit offerings of Fairlight and Emu to the high-res sounds of Kurzweil and Akai. And the components of synthesis and sampling were often mixed together, as in the Roland LA series and other hybrid designs. Of course, with the transition to virtual instrument plugins, all of these designs are now available, from faithful replications of vintage hardware to modern synths and samplers that go well beyond what could ever have been done outside the box. So it must be a daunting task for a company to come up with a new instrument, something with its own unique voice and approach that'll be more than just a reworking of traditional designs. Well, Isotope has done just that with Iris 2. Isotope is well known in the industry for their software processing, which ranges from mixing, to mastering, to audio repair. With Iris, and now this latest version, Iris 2, they've brought a new wrinkle to virtual instrument design. Isotope took their spectral processing software from their RX audio repair suite and incorporated this powerful sound shaping tool into a hybrid synth sampler virtual instrument. Iris 2's Spectral Filter offers the user the ability to dig into an audio wave with tools probably more familiar to graphic artists and photo editors and literally draw in changes to the sound down to the harmonic and overtone level. This makes it a breeze to create and modify sounds in ways that would be difficult, if not impossible, with traditional sound shaping filters. But they didn't stop there. Besides the unique sound shaping capabilities of Spectral Filtering, Iris 2 has a host of sophisticated synth processing, including a wide range of traditional filters, envelopes, and powerful modulation options. As a hybrid synth sampler, Iris 2 can load up to four audio waves as the sound source. The supplied waves range from instruments and effects to traditional oscillators, some modeled on classic synths. And you can also bring in your own waves as well. All this gives Iris 2 the range to craft sounds from classic analog or digital synth tones to shifting, spectral filtered sounds that run the gamut from ethereal to edgy. Of course, with all this power comes a certain amount of complexity, and that's where this course comes in. After a very brief primer on traditional synthesis, I'll cover the specific architecture of Iris 2 in detail, the component parts, the layout and signal flow, including the various modulation options, and especially the unique possibilities of the spectral filter. Once you've got its layout down, Iris 2 is remarkably easy and fast to work with, and you'll be crafting brilliant new sounds in no time. But before I jump into the deep end with Iris 2, for anyone who might welcome a quick overview or refresher on basic synth and sampler architecture, the next video will be a brief primer in synth and sampler basics. <laughs>